Hello, I'm Matthew Malcolm with California Fresh Fruit Magazine reporting to you from Simonian Fruit Company. They've got a nectarine orchard here in Selma and Jimmy Simonian, the grower here, has been working with a company using sap analysis, a new technology to determine how to better meet the needs, the nutritional needs and demands of the crop to make sure they've got a good quality harvest moving forward. And here's David Miller to explain the process. In 2014, um, the plant sap analysis was introduced um, to United States. It's, it's a technology that had been validated a couple years before that in the Netherlands. And with plant sap analysis, it's, it's another tool in the toolbox. So you've got soil samples, you've got the saturated paste analysis, you might have lysimeter readings, you might have tissue analysis. You have all those different analysis um, that help you to make wise decisions. And so the plant sap analysis is kind of um, the icing on the cake, you might say, of those tools. And here's the reason why. When you, when you look at soil analysis, it's important to know what's in the soil, right? But if, if that's not moving into the plant, then it's really, you really aren't understanding what your plant needs or whether your plant needs more or less of something else. You're just looking at what you had this spring and hope that lasts for the whole season. Um, with the standard tissue analysis is somewhat limited in the degree of understanding the nutrient mobility or taking into consideration the nutrient uh, mobility within the plants. Because some nutrients are mobile in the plant such as um, nitrogen, phosphorus, magnesium, and potassium, for example, are very mobile in the plant. The plant will draw those mobile nutrients out of the older leaf and move it into the fruit or into the new growth as needed. And when you only take a tissue sample of the youngest fully mature leaf, now you're not getting the picture of that potassium deficiency, for example, until it's too late because the plant is moving potassium from the old leaf into the new leaf and so you're sampling the new leaf which has the optimum amount of potassium in it and so you miss the deficiency until it's too late. So what the plant sap analysis does is we sample the oldest um, still viable leaf and the youngest fully mature leaf and when we do that now we can see the differential and we can compare we can see if the nutrients are moving from the old leaf into the young leaf and as soon as we see the old leaf being less than the young leaf then we know we've got a problem and that's two to three weeks ahead of when a tissue sample would show it up uh, show up or when you might even see a deficiency with your you know with your eyes so what that allows growers to do is for example we have the fruit growing here and so if this plant starts running out of potassium, in other words, there's no longer enough potassium coming through the roots to sustain that fruit fill and development. And if we wait until we see it on a tissue sample, now we're going to miss opportunity for having optimum fruit fill. And by seeing it move from the old leaf into the new leaf, we're two to three weeks ahead and we can address that and not lose um, the, the potential of fruit fill. So that's, the, that's probably the biggest benefit and advantage. And then there's also the advantage of looking at the sap instead of the, of the whole tissue because of the minerals that make up the structural parts of the plant. Calcium, for example. Um, when you analyze the, the tissue and, and you measure the structural components, then you're not getting a true reading of what your plant actually needs in this moment. It's kind of like if you went to your nutritionist to see if you needed to change your vitamin intake and, and he um, suggested you, you know, he took off your arm and analyzed your bones and everything to see if you need more calcium in your diet. Obviously it would, it would come back saying you've got plenty of calcium, don't need more calcium in your diet when actually you need more calcium and, and the calcium showing up is just from your bone. So it's a false reading when, you, when you're looking at it from that perspective. So those are two key advantages. And then of course we look at, at a lot of micronutrients that many people aren't looking at with the plant sap analysis. 
such as molybdenum and uh, selenium or silica, um, and then all the micronutrients. There's 21 different data points we look at. So it's pretty exciting with what we can do in, in helping farmers manage their nutrients better. We've been able to help farmers reduce inputs early on, and by doing that, it saved them money because they didn't apply it when they usually would have because the plants didn't need it. But then later in the season, they might be applying something that they never applied or the thing they usually applied early, they might be applying that later when the plant actually needs it. So it helps them manage that and really improves profit profitability with it. Thank you, David. Learn more about incorporating new technology in the orchard by reading California Fresh Fruit Magazine. I'm Matthew Malcolm, CaliforniaAgNet.com.